Raw rocks. So today we are looking at what's known as composite factories. So a composite you get when you take one function and you stick it inside another one. So then one function is inserted into another. what's known as composite functions. All right. <clears throat> so when we form a composite function, uh, we use, so when So sticking the G into the F, and it's written as Goff. Oh, it's not the fog. What am I talking about? Got it the wrong way around. <coughs> G. <clears throat> All right, so the G gets stuck into the F, um, and there also is GOF, and that's when you put F into G. <clears throat> That and usually fog and goff are different. So let's have a look at an example. <coughs> so if f of x, <coughs> excuse me, is 2x squared plus 3, and g of x is x plus 2, Then fog so it's always the second one on the list goes into the first one. <coughs> All right, so the second one on the list is G, which is X plus two, goes into the first one instead of that x. 
So this x here, we're going to put the x plus 2 into that spot instead of x. So effectively we're inserting g into f instead of the x. So that's two lots of x plus 2 squared and plus the 3. All right, expand to collect like terms. I'll do this quickly. So x squared plus 4x plus 4. Um, 2x squared plus 8x plus 8. So there is um, fog. And golf. So the red one, that's fog. And golf. Then means we put F into, so we're taking this and putting it in there instead of the X. And so when we do that, instead of X, and I'm just going to put it in the in the green bracket, just to illustrate, not the green bracket's no significance, other than that f x, so 2x squared plus 3, so instead of that x there, and then we've got the plus 2 on the end, and so if I collect like terms, 2x squared plus 5 is what we get. So as you can see, from that example, fog and goff, different. <clears throat> Alright, there's a couple of requirements. So for fog to exist, have to have is you have to have a G that you're going to be able to put into F. And so if we've got a G that we're putting into F, so we're looking at then the range of G being put into F. So it only exists if the range of G so that's G is what we're putting in. So we're putting the numbers that we get out of G, which is the range. So the range of G has to be able to fit into F. So we've got to be able to put the numbers that we get out of G, we've got to be able to put them into F. So the domain of F. So subset or equal to is what that symbol means, so I'll just write that underneath. So the range of G can be smaller than the domain of F, it can be equal to the domain but it can't be bigger. And from that then, the domain of the composite function fog will 
relate all the way back to the domain of G. <coughs> So let us then have a look at an example of what you get before you get that down. So one example and we're done. We're going to look at a couple of examples. Or one example, I should say. For the functions. So G is 2x minus 1. any numbers we like into that, no problems. And f of x is equal to just the square root x. Now that one there, um, <coughs> we can't just stick anything in. So we have a domain here has got to be greater than or equal to zero because we can't put negative numbers in. <coughs> Question says, state, um, which of Fog and Goff exist. for the composite function defined. Let's have a look. Let's look at fog. So what we're doing is we're putting the G into the F. So when we look at the G, here's our G. So we're looking at the range of G. Of G. So this G here, we're going to think about what numbers, what numbers can we get out of this when we put any X in there, what numbers can we get out of that? Positives, negatives, and so on. So 2x minus 1 can be positive, 0, or negative, can be each of those. But we have a problem with these negatives here. Because we're getting, if we get a negative number out and we try and put it into F, 
What happens? Wrong. Yeah, we can't yeah. just try and square root a negative number, yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright. And but our our domain of uh, of f, it's only if x is greater than or equal to zero. But from g we can get negative numbers out, and so that's a bit of an issue. So because of that, the, so the range of G um, <clears throat> is bigger than, is too big, because it includes negative numbers. So the range of G is actually any number. But this says only greater than zero. But, so the range is too big. So what that means then is that fog is not defined. For Goff, however, the range of F, so here's F, so when we put square root numbers that are bigger than zero, what sort of numbers do we get? Positives, negatives, zero, positives, or if x equals zero, zero, well done. So the range of f is greater than or equal to zero. So then we're going to put that into the g. So the domain of g, well, the domain of G says anything. So the domain is any number. So here we're just putting numbers that are positive or zero into something where we're allowed to put any number. Any problems there? No, no problems. So in this case, our range of f is actually smaller, so it's a subset, because it's only numbers zero or greater than. It's smaller than the domain of g, and so that's defined. Alright. So that's part A. Part B asks us to find out the composite function one that does exist and the composite function for the one that does exist is Goff. So Goff means what? Which one do we put into which one? F goes into G. F goes into G. Alright, and so G is uh, 2x minus 1 and we are putting f into that instead of the x, and the f is root x. And so it's 2 root x minus 1. And the domain of Goff. Here's Goff. What's the domain? X. X has got to be? Positive or zero. Positive or zero, yep. So, Right, just one note about that is that in that particular example, fog didn't exist, but if we restricted the domain of G, then we could um, have it. So note, so just a note. Um, if the domain
of G were to be restricted and in this case um, it would be um, <coughs> excuse me greater than or equal to a half um, then fault could exist Oops. If x was greater than or equal to half, you restricted that, then you would just getting, be getting numbers that were positive out, and then you can square root positive numbers. All right, that's it. 1A stuff then.